Hi, Harry. We miss you in class. We're looking forward to your return. Uh, you sent me an email saying that you were trying to teach yourself about the binomial theorem, but uh, what you saw in the book wasn't making much sense out of context without some explanation. So I'd like to go through a real quick lesson for you on how to use the binomial theorem that hopefully will make whatever you look at in the book a lot simpler, and then you can get to your web assign uh, lesson, which I'll extend for you. So let's take a look at it. There's going to be uh, something that you need to learn about. I don't know if you already know what Pascal's triangle is, but it's a way of putting some numbers together, Pascal's triangle, where the top number is always a 1. The next row has a 1 and a 1. The next row starts with a 1 and ends with a 1. And in between that, I put a 2. Where did that 2 come from? I add up that 1 and that 1 to get a 2. My next row, I put a 1 on the outside. I'm going to put a 3 here and a 3 here. Where did those 3's come from? 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. So you can see how I can keep going. Each row, I'm going to have one more number. This one was row 0, had one number in it. Row 1 had two numbers in it. Row 2 has three numbers in it. Row 3 has four numbers in it. Well, row 4 is going to have five numbers in it. First and last will always be 1. The numbers in between, I'm going to add a 1 and a 3, get a 4. Add a 3 and a 3, get a 6. Add a 3 and a 1 and get a 4, and so on. Now, there are a number of uses of Pascal's triangle that we don't get into in this course, but one of them is to use it with the binomial theorem to help get our coefficients if I wanted to take a binomial, one term plus another term, and raise it to a power, like raise it to the third power, or raise it to the fourth power. So the way I'm going to do that, suppose I had a plus b, and I wanted to raise that to the fourth power. To raise a plus b to the fourth power, I'm going to look for row 4 in Pascal's triangle. I can either count down, starting with row 0, row 1, row 2, row 3, or row 4, or I know row 4 is the one that starts with a 1 and a 4. Row 3 is the one that starts with a 1 and a 3. Row 2 is the one that starts with a 1 and a 2, and so on. So I want to use row 4 since I am raising to the fourth power. So how am I going to do this? I'm going to say this equals, there's going to be 1 times something, plus 4 times something, plus 6 times something, plus 4 times something, plus 1 times something. So I start out that raising something to the fourth power will have five terms in it. Those five terms have coefficients of 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, because those are the coefficients in Pascal's triangle. Now, what do I multiply these coefficients by? If I'm raising a plus b to the fourth, I'm going to put in a to the fourth in the first term, then a to the third in the second term, a to the second in the third term, a to the first, which I normally just write as a, and then a to the zero. I would put a to the zero here, but a to the zero, anything to the zero power, is just a one. And I don't usually write it down, because multiplying by a one isn't going to change a value. Then I take the b's, and I do the same thing, but I start from the right. b to the fourth, b to the third, b to the second, b to the first, and this one would have b to the zero, which I'm not going to write down because that's just multiplying by one. So a plus b to the fourth equals 1a to the fourth plus 4a cubed b plus 6a squared b squared plus 4ab cubed plus 1b to the fourth. If you ever get confused, on what powers do I have here? Notice all the exponents added up, 4. This is a 3 and a 1. That's a 4. 
two and a two, that's a four. That's a three and a one, that's a four. That's a four. If I start at the left and go down the powers of A, start at the right, go down the powers of B, I'm always going to have the powers added up equal to that number. And that's going to work no matter what A and B are. Let's do two more examples, then you should be ready to do things on your own. So let's do um, x plus 3 to the third power. How do I do that? I find the row of Pascal's triangle that starts with a 1 and a 3. So it's going to be this row, row 3. Since that number was a 3, I use the row of Pascal's triangle that has a 1, then a 3. Put down my coefficients, 1, 3, 3, 1. Take the first term, raise it to the biggest power it's ever going to get, then the next biggest power, then the next biggest power. Now I'm done with my x's. Take 3 and raise it to powers. 3 cubed, 3 squared, 3 to the first, and just a plain old, excuse me, 3 to the 0, which is a 1. So I don't even need to write it down. x cubed, x squared, times 3 to the 1, x times 3 squared, and so on. Now I simplify it, because I've got a bunch of numbers in here. x cubed plus 3x squared times another 3, that's 9x squared. 3x times 3 squared, that's 3x times 9, or 27x. 3 cubed, 3 times 3 times 3, is 27. Okay, now let's make it a little bit tougher. Let's do 2x minus 2 to the third power. I take the same row of Pascal's triangle. Let me scroll up there. I get the row of Pascal's triangle that has a 1 and a 3 at the beginning. So I know my coefficients are 1, 3, 3, 1. I take the first part of the binomial, raise it to the third power, raise it to the second power, raise it to the first power, and raise it to the zero power, which I don't even have to write down. Then I take the next part of the binomial, which is negative 2, and do negative 2 to the third power, negative 2 to the second power, negative 2 to the first power, and then negative 2 to the zeroth power, which is a 1. I won't even write it down. Notice all the parentheses I put in. That's because this entire term has to get raised to the third power, the second power, and so on. This entire term of negative 2 has to get raised to the third power, the second power, and so on. If I don't put the parentheses down, I'm going to forget to square or cube the entire expression. So let's simplify this. 2x cubed is 2x times 2x times 2x. That's 8x cubed. Plus 3 times 2x squared minus a 2. Okay, a positive times a negative, that's going to be a negative. So I'm going to have a minus for this one. 3 times 2x quantity squared is 3 times 4x squared. So that's 3 times 4x squared times a negative 2, giving me 3 times 4 is 12, times 2 is 24. So negative 24x squared. This one, 3 times 2x, negative 2 squared is a positive 4, so I get a plus over here. 3 times 2x times 4, 3 times 2 is 6, times 4, 24x. And the last one, negative 2 cubed, that's a negative number, so I get minus 8. And here is my answer, 8x cubed minus 24x squared, plus 24x, minus 8. Same technique for all of these. Find the right row of Pascal's triangle. Write those down as your coefficients. Take the first term of your binomial, write it in as the biggest power, the next biggest, the next biggest, until you run out. 
take the second term of the binomial. Start from the right end. Biggest power, next biggest power, next biggest power, until you run out. Okay, good luck with it. I will uh, update web assign so that you've got more time to work on this assignment. And uh, looking forward to seeing you in class again.